Part 13. We are going to continue with transformation geometry and we are going to stay on reflection. You will find this on page 245 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's go through example 14. Draw a pair of axes from negative 8 to positive 8 on both axes. Plot and label the points. Draw the image of triangle ABC after a reflection in the lines indicated. The x-axis. Okay, so if I look at the x-axis, so it's going to be 3, 3, 1, 1. And this is going to be 1, 2, it's 4, 4. Okay, so there is my reflection in the x-axis of that triangle. In the y-axis, remember if it's on the line of symmetry, it stays there. This one, 3, 3. This one, uh, 5, 5. But now, in the line, and now it's, it's a little bit unclear standing there, but it's in the line y equals negative 2. Now, on page, it's actually page 143 in this textbook, the grade 9 textbook, you will see horizontal and vertical lines. Now, a line that's like this will cut the y-axis and it will cut it. I'm just going to write it. And it will cut it at negative so this will be a horizontal line. So basically, I'm just going to count. It's going to be 3, and then I go 3 to this side. And then I go 2, 4, 5, 6. Okay, let's just see if it's 6. Yes. And then I will do exactly the same. 2, 4, 6. And then I will go 3, 5, and I will go 5 to this side. And I will just plot the points. Okay. Uh, I want you to do for me, try now 14 number 1, A and B, and all that numbers. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now 14. Okay, let's start with number 1. I already, I already draw the axes from negative 7 to 7, 7 to 7. Okay, now plot the points. Now let's go and plot the points. 7 and 5, so it will be 7 and 5. Remember, first the x, then the y value, and that will be point A. And then point B, uh, 7 and 2. This is point B. And then C, 5 and 2. 5 and 2. And this is point C. And then I just draw the lines. Okay. And then um, basically what I'm going to do, so I plot the points. So number B, draw the image of triangle ABC after a reflection in the lines indicated. So first the x-axis. So if I go to the x-axis, I'm just going to count 2, and I count 2. And this will be C. Oh, let's just get that pin correct. And this will be C dash. And then 2 and 2. And this will be B dash. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it will exactly be 5. And this is going to be A dash. And then I just draw the lines. And then this is a reflection in the x-axis. And then if I do a reflection in the y-axis, so we do exactly the same, but now just count to the y-axis. So if this is 5, then this will be 5. Okay, and it will be C dash. Okay, now usually um, if, if they say to label it, then rather just label it 1. Then it's better, um, I'm just going to rather do this, because there's too many, and then I have to dash, dash. So it's better then to just label it as a 1. Okay, let's do the same with this one. We're just going to plot the points. Okay, so this is 7, and then I go 7 to this side. And this is going to be 7 also, and I also go 7 to this side. 
and then I just take my ruler and then I'm just going to say number two. Okay, label it two, very important. And then in the line x equals one. Now you can do a revision there, but it cuts the x axis and where does it cut the x axis? It cuts the x axis at one, okay? So basically I'm going to make it a red line. So it's cutting the x-axis and it's cutting at 1. So there is the line and I'm just going to write this is x is equal to 1. And now I'm just going to from to count towards this red line. So if I count, okay, I'm just going to use blue again. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Count 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And then this one, it's 2, three, four, five, six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's actually on that dot. And then this one, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, and it's going to be on that dot. And then I'm just going to draw my lines. And I'm going to label this one three. And this is then a reflection of this triangle in the line x is equal to 1. Okay, now we're going to do the reverse. I'm going to give you the original figure as well as the image and you are going to describe the transformation. Okay, let's look at an example. I'm just going to move this again here. So if I say... Describe the reflection of plane figures. The figure and image will be given, and you must describe the line of reflection. Okay, so there, it's almost like draw e drawing in the line of reflection. Now, there will be the line, line of reflection. It's on the y-axis. So I can describe it. I must say the word reflection. I get one point, and I say in the, in, in the, in, in the, oh, it seems to me it was missing there, in the y axis. You can just correct that. Okay. And then this one, now be careful, count one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like it's two point, it, it's here. I just want to mark it here. The line of, it's in the middle there. Okay. So what is, th what is the equation of this line? The equation, it's cutting the y axis and it's cutting at negative a half. So what will it be? Well, you must start with the word reflection in the line and it's y equals negative a half. Okay, it's important to describe the transformation fully to score full marks and usually it's counting two marks. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 15. I want you to do number A as well as um, B as well as C. You can just describe it. You can stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start at number 1A. Describe the single transformation that maps figure this into this. Now, can you see? I'm just going to every time, uh, before I start, I'm just, oh, this is not good. Let's just do this, and then we just take red. I'm just going to draw in the line of red symmetry every time first before I because then it's easier to describe be careful here it's one two three four so it will be at two okay so let's start number one a so describe the single transformation that maps figure ABC into this so it's going to be oh let's just get the pen correct it's a reflection in the x-axis. Just know that the equation of the x-axis is y equals 0. Okay, so you can also write that. Number B, again, start with the word reflection. Very important. And then it's in the, and now it's y-axis. What is the equation of the y-axis? It's x equals 0. So you can write this also. Okay. 
And then number C, it's still a reflection. Okay, but now, what is the name of this line? It cuts the x-axis and it cuts at negative uh, 1. So it's x, oh, let me just rewrite, x equals negative 1. So it's a reflection in the line x is equal to negative 1. And if you describe it like this, you will get full marks.